are they going to introduce the new question patterns in the NEET 2025 exam? If yes, what are those? What are those? What are those? We say this is the expected one. We say this is the expected one. I'll be telling you in this particular video. I'll be telling you in this particular video. And most importantly, my dear friends, when it comes to the difficulty level of the exam, is that going to increase? Because you might have recently seen when it comes to the NEET 2024, a lot of irregularities happened because of that 67 students got 720 out of 720 cutoff raised. Okay, And after that, if you might have seen the question paper of those 1,564 students for which Rini took place, the we say difficulty level of exam was increased. Will that happen in the NEET 2025 also? So if they are going to increase the level, how they are going to increase the level? That's what we going we are going to be discussed in this particular video. All of there are some rumors, but some are the facts also will be discussing each and every single thing will be decoded in this particular video. I want you guys to watch this particular video till the end. Now, my dear friends, my dear friends, is the exam going to be online only? And what will be the new question patterns if they are going to introduce the first thing that let me just tell you over here. When it comes to the number of registrations, it keeps on increasing every single year. We say 2021, 16 lakh registrations. We say 2022, 19 lakh registrations. 23, 21 lakh registrations. We say 2024, 24 lakh registrations. And in 2025, we are expecting 26 to 27 lakh registrations will be in the NEET examination. And, and my dear friends, my dear friends, if this is going to be the registrations, don't you think that cutoff is going to rise? And, and if cutoff is, if even you see this year, 24 lakh students appeared in the NEET examination cutoff raised. And we say they have to increase the difficulty level of the exam based on this, based on this, according to this data that we have. Now, my dear friends, let's talk about the overall year-wise difficulty. Okay, now we say difficulty level. Let's talk about the NEET 2024 difficulty level first. We say difficulty level, easy number of easy questions. We say percentage of questions. We say easy, medium and hard. Easy were 35.3%. And when it comes to the medium, we say 46.3% questions were hard. And when it comes to the difficult, we say 18.4% questions were hard. But at the same time, if you talk about the reneed, for those 1,563 students, we say, we say, we say difficulty level increase in that and it, it went from 18.4% to, we say, 27 to 30%. Or you can say 18.4 to 30%, it raised from where? We say, we say, we say in the difficult portion. So if this happened in the need 20 in the reneed, what will what is going to happen in the need 2025? So I am I am predicting, I'm predicting they are going to increase the difficulty level, that's for sure. And my dear friends, let's move on to this one. If we talk about the subject-wise overall difficulty level, see for physics, we say easy number of questions were 24, medium were 22, difficult were 4, and a total of 50 questions. In chemistry, we say here, here. Uh, we say in chemistry, total number of easy questions were 16, medium were 24, and we say th uh, these were difficult to were 10. But in reneet, if you talk about, we say 7 to 8 questions were which were having a good, which was having the good level, so which were difficult. Previously in NEET 2024, only 4, but in, in, we say, uh, NEET 2020, in the reneet 2024, we say 8 questions were difficult. Double of this one. Similarly, in botany, you can see, medium hard difficult in zoology you can see medium hard and difficult and overall difficulty level you can also see over here this is the subject wise analysis you can see now my dear friends now my dear friends let's talk about the 2023 in 2023 if we talk about the difficulty level we say for physics we say it was 1.36 out of let's suppose if out of three this was the difficulty level. In chemistry, 1.38. In botany, 1.28, 1.32. Overall difficulty level was, we say, 1.34 out of 3. We say this was the difficulty level in NEET 2024. And this is the difficulty level of NEET 2020. We say, sir, 2. Now, now, let me give you over here exact, the de de exact details. We say 2024, the question paper was between easy to moderate. Okay. And overall difficulty level was, we say, 1.25 out of 3. 
this was the overall difficulty level and it was between easy and moderate now my dear friends when it comes to the rini 2024 that was also between easy to moderate but but that was towards the that was not between easy to moderate that was between moderate to difficult moderate to difficult okay but that was bit towards the moderate only not more towards the difficult that was not extremely difficult paper but but i would say between moderate to difficult so if we are predicting for NEET 2025 definitely it will be between moderate to difficult that's for sure 110 percent now now next thing what we are going to see over here role of ncrt in NEET 2025 shall we focus on ncrt do we have to take this NCRT serious for NEET 2025? We say yes, yes. We say previously, guys, listen to me very carefully. We say previously, 80 to 90 percent questions used to directly come from NCRT. Directly 80 to 90 percent questions. But, but when it comes to the NEET 2025, we are doing the rough estimate over here. Because we have seen the scenarios, we have seen the irregularities that have happened in the NEET 2024 and based on that we are predicting for the NEET 2025. We say 70 to 75 questions will come directly from the NCRT. 70 to 75 percent questions directly from NCRT. And we say 25 to 30 percent questions will be the deep conceptual understanding questions. 25 to 30 will be deep conceptual understanding. So these questions are going to increase the level of the exam. These questions are going to increase the, uh, we say, difficulty level of the exam. So that's the reason. Now, my dear friends, you have to completely focus on the conceptual understanding. You have to learn each and every single concept. How this came, how that came. Okay, it's not like the for now for you will expect the formula based questions only. No, no conceptual questions. You have to apply the two, three concepts in one question and then they will ask the questions. Next, next, when it comes to the question pattern, we say you guys know that MCQs are being asked single correct, multiple correct. You have statement based questions. You are given a statement. Okay. And, and you have a surgeon reason questions. You have matched the following questions. You are given one column, another column, then you have to match. You have fill in the blanks. You have true, false. But when it comes to the expected question type, uh, question pattern that we can expect in the NEET 2025, that is text-based questions. This text-based question is exactly like the summary questions that we used to get previously in the physics, physics exam. Okay. Uh, sorry, in, not in the physics exam, in the English exam. Okay, like we used to get a summary of any particular chapter and from that summary they would have asked the questions and you will have to answer those questions. Similarly, you'll be given a summary. From this particular summary, they might ask some questions and then you will have to answer those questions from that fi finding the answers in the summary itself. And then next, next, we say data interpretation questions. In this and, and this you can expect in the biology. Like you'll be given some sort of data and then, then you'll have to be, you'll be, if the data will be something like this, you can read out to yourself also, you can read this out and you'll get the idea how they are going to basically give this so that you'll get the complete idea over here, how this question pattern exactly look like, looks like, looks like. Okay, so my dear friends, this was all about it. So when it comes to the NEET 2025, the paper is going, the paper will be difficult. We say you have to focus on the NCRT, but at the same time, you'll have to focus on the deep conceptual understanding questions. You'll have to clarify the concepts very properly. And most importantly, my dear friends, if you want to enter the medical college in the 2025, if you want to clear all those concepts, if you want to be stronger at the concept so that no question will you will you guys will leave in the need 2025 then i would recommend you guys to join the phoenix 3.0 batch because this is the batch which we have started recently you ask the students who have already joined 1.0 2.0 3.0 there was a huge demand that's the reason we came up with the 3.0 you ask the students how many questions we teachers follow in the class itself we solo more than 250 to around 300 questions in the class from every single chapter okay so and and when it comes to when it comes to we say test series top notch test series is given by the top educators so that every question pattern is involved in that test series so join this batch as soon as possible and right now the plus subscription is only for 5999 the best part is if you don't like to 
learn in this particular batch, you can switch on to the another batch also because you are having the plus subscription. Plus subscription means you will be having the access to all the batches, to all the batches, not just one batch to all the batches. So this is my dear friends by Team Avengers. So completely designed by us. So study material, each and every single thing, personal guidance, all will be given by us. So the link is in the description below. Click on to that link and join this particular batch. So thank you so much. Take care and bye-bye. This was all about it. Thank you so much.